Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new officially merged Hulu on Disney Plus app. Now, for months now, Disney has been beta testing Hulu integrated into the Disney Plus app. It's owned by both the same company. And there's bundled versions you can get now for just $9.99 to get both services combined. But now, as of today, they are rolling out the official version of it. It's not too much different, but we're going to talk about some key things you need to know with it. And it will be slowly rolling out to different devices, including Roku's Fire TVs, mobile devices, and the like. Now, we're going to be breaking down everything you need to know about these new features here in a second. But first, if you're new here, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people. With that said, let's dive into it. Take a look at it. So this is the Hulu interface on Disney+. Plus. It's pretty standard like you've been seeing for a while. You have all the different content here across it. You can also search by studio. So you can go through here and say, I want to jump right into A&E, Disney XD, Fox, different areas with it. Very nice, clean um, interface. I really do like very simplified with this. Not a bunch of playing videos right now at the top of it. Now to get to this in the Disney, it's exactly like it's always been. It even still technically has the beta app, even though I've updated it today. It's marking here, but you got these different rows of categories. Well, you go over to Hulu and you click on this and this brings you to Hulu content. Now on the homepage of Disney Plus um, app, we have noticed some Hulu content being recommended through it, but most of it's being included here on the Hulu app. Now a few things here. This is only Hulu on demand content and it seems to be the vast majority of it though. Last we checked, there was still a few things missing that may be a deliberate decision of them not to include it on Disney Plus, we'll see. But Hulu Plus Live TV customers still need to use the Hulu app. That's the other thing here. The Hulu app is not going away. You can still, if you're only a Hulu customer, access all your content through Hulu and pay directly there and watch all your on-demand content just like you would through the Disney Plus app. What's happening here though is if you pay for both, you no longer need two apps to go between the on-demand catalogs. Vast majority of Hulu subscribers do not pay for live TV, they're on-demand only customers. Could on-demand eventually come to Disney Plus? Sure, but Disney has said for now they intend to keep Hulu Plus Live TV as a separate app over there and not clutter it up into the Disney Plus app with it. But if you've been using it for a while, you notice it's pretty much the same. There's not a whole lot of change here with this. The big difference here again is um, there's a $9.99 bundle if you want to start your, get both Hulu Plus and Disney Plus. You can use Disney Plus without Hulu and just access the Disney Plus content. If you want to get the, or watch Hulu content, you also need to pay for Hulu. It's not included in the Disney Plus price point unless you get the Hulu on Disney, the bundle deal, the two um, services of Disney Plus and Hulu. Again, live TV is in its own app. Beyond that though, not a whole lot to say about this service. It's pretty straightforward accessing a wide range of content here. You do get more content than you would. For example, here's a bunch of Cartoon Network content, uh, for example, that's not included with Disney Plus. Some um, kids comedy originals. You also got things like the Golden Girls complete series, Family Matters, How I Met Your Mother. Other content here, the first Dune movie, Ghostbusters, Eclipse, uh, Twilight, Pacific Rim. Content not included with Disney Plus is now here. Overall though, it's a pretty straightforward merger, just giving you access to both catalogs. Would not surprise me if we continue to see further integrations of maybe ESPN into this, we'll see. Maybe the um, on-demand catalog at least. We're already seeing ESPN Plus integrate into the Hulu app, um, which makes it a lot easier for your Hulu Plus Live TV customer because that's included in that bundle. Overall, let me know what you think. A lot, of, a lot of PR marketing here for not much of a change, or are you really excited for the fact that Hulu is integrated into the Disney Plus app? Now, if you are concerned about people getting a hold of stuff, there are parental controls. If you go into the settings on your Disney account through the Disney Plus app, you can enable parental controls to help protect children on your account. But let me know. I'd love to hear from you what you think of this. If you want to learn more about this, I'll pull an article to the um, announcement and everything that Disney said about it down in the first pinned comment in the show notes. So with that said, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're all taking care. Thank you so much for your support, and we will be back again real soon with another video.